welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make the popcorn double crochet stitch. Uh, this stitch is part of my Autumn Rhapsody blanket stitch tutorial series. That blanket is a free pattern on my website. I will have a link below for you in the description of this video if you'd like to learn more about that free pattern. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today how to make the popcorn stitch as well as how to change colors if you are making that stitch in a different color from the rest of your row. So, so uh, we're using here a couple of different colors to contrast uh, in Karen Simply Soft that I had on hand and I'm using a Clover crochet hook size H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. So what I did here is a base of double crochet stitches uh, in order to give me a base to work with on that popcorn. So you can work this in a chain as well. It's just a little bit easier for me to show it uh, working into stitches rather than chains. So I'm going to go ahead and for this row, I'm going to be working my popcorn stitch and I'm going to be continuing on in this blue color and do my beginning chain. And I'm going to start carrying that second color. This is the color that I'm going to be working my popcorn stitch in. So I'm going to wanna to begin working over that color so that it's there when I need it. So I'm going to be working a double crochet in those next three stitches and you'll notice that I'm working over that yarn that I'm carrying. And when I get to the place, so I've worked those next three stitches and I want to work a popcorn stitch in my next stitch. I'm not going to finish that last double crochet. You can see here I still have my last two loops on my hook and I'm gonna drop that color and I'm going to pull in that yarn that I've been carrying to complete my last double crochet. And now I want to work over and carry that color A so that I have it once I've completed that popcorn stitch, I want to be uh, continuing on with that color. So I'm gonna carry it and work over it with this popcorn stitch. So a popcorn stitch is basically multiple double crochets worked in the same stitch. And then you pull uh, your yarn through that first stitch in order to cause it to bunch up to create that popcorn texture. So I'm going to be with this popcorn stitch working four double crochets in the same stitch. So working over that color A I'm going to make four double crochets in that same stitch. Once I've completed that last double crochet, so I have four double crochets here, I'm going to take my hook out of that last loop, that final loop, and I'm going to insert it in the top of that first double crochet that I made, and I'm going to insert it back into that loop. Now I'm changing my color back to my first color, so I'm gonna drop that color and pull back in my color A, and I'm going to finish that popcorn by yarning over and pulling through both of those loops there. So you see here what happened is it pushed all of those double crochets together, pops those out, hence the name popcorn stitch. Typically you do not skip stitches before or after a popcorn stitch. Uh, you would just go ahead then and I am gonna be working over that color because I want to work my next popcorn in that color again, and I'm going to work a double crochet in the next four stitches. So once I've worked those four double crochets, I don't complete that last double crochet because I want to work that popcorn stitch in my next color. So I'm going to drop that color and pull in color B. 
I'm going to work over color A because I'm going to be using it again and I'm going to work four double crochets in that next stitch. So one, two, three, four. Take my hook out of that loop, insert it into the top of that first double crochet that I made, insert it back into that loop, drop that color. Pull in color A by pulling it through that loop and the first double crochet made. And I have my popcorn made again. So you're just going to continue that on working over colors, pulling in colors, finishing stitches, and you can see here what a lovely texture that makes. Don't skip stitches before or after those popcorns. Um, it really pushes those popcorns out. You can see how far those come out from your work. So really lovely texture. So really that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Thanks so much for being with me. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.